Welcome to the Ridgewood High School Maroon Minute. We're excited to share with you short snippets and interviews to give you a snapshot look into our community. We're proud of our staff and students and want you to get to know them on another level. Go Maroons! Welcome back to another Maroon Minute. Uh, this one is going to be pretty fun because we have two guests on today. We've got uh, Mr. Mike Troy and Mrs. Uh, Maida Kierne. And uh, welcome, guys. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate having. you coming on. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So <clears throat> usually the first question is um, to just tell everybody what your your role here is, how long you've been here uh, at RHS, and, um, and and just share with people what, what you do. Go ahead, Maida. Thanks, Mike. Um, what a gentleman. Um, so my name is Maida Kirthane. I'm in the social studies department. Um, I've probably been here for decades because I was a student here um, years ago. Uh, in the uh, so I'm social studies department. I'm also the advisor for Asian Festival, and I used to coach the girls tennis team for um, a little over a decade. Nice, thank you. And Thanks. I've been in the social studies department since the fall of '02, um, and in that time, I've had a couple different roles. But um, over the past 17 years, I've been the boys varsity basketball coach as well. You've been the coach for 17, 17 years? I believe this is my 17th, yeah. This is your 17th season? That's awesome. Um, and so, you know, you guys do some really special things, and those are, you know, obviously coaching coaching a team um, and made it as a coach in the tennis team and and uh, working with Asian Fest. You, know, you guys have such a tremendous impact, not just on, on the students you have in the classroom, but the things that you do outside of the classroom. And... Um, you know, one uh, we could we could spend an entire session talking about each of those things. Uh, but one really special thing that you guys do together as a team that I'd love to highlight today is is uh, something called the Maroon Award. And uh, I know that that's been going on for a couple of years, and you guys are now kind of continuing the tradition. Um, and I'd love for you guys to maybe speak about that and um, you know what what that means to our community here. Yeah, so I think we're the beneficiaries of stepping into such an incredible pro program that I think is at the heart of what we privilege at the high school um, in terms of, you know, it's tradition of excellence. What does that mean? I think in terms of kindness and character. So Jack Lorenz, a man who sort of embodied those ideals, he created the Maroon Award to um, really highlight people who do the right thing, regardless of whether people are noticing it or not. Um, so it's not a formal award that was given at a particular ceremony, um, but just the idea that there are people who do things that make the world turn um, in, in good ways, and we should uh, recognize those individuals. And um, after Jeff, so many people have worked on it, and it wouldn't be possible without um, the faculty and staff nominating individuals um, to who, who they see are, are doing these good acts, or performing these good acts. And then Dave Bailey and John May uh, shepherded in through another phase, and um, Mike and I somehow were uh, told to help out, and we were thrilled to be able to do that. And um, I think it's one of the most important things we do at the high school, honestly. Yeah, I, I would just add too. I, I think our school does a great job of highlighting the different talents of kids here, uh, whether that be through athletics, mm -hmm. whether that be through the band and chorus, new players, uh, DECA. There, there's so many talented kids here, mm -hmm. and we really do. We we highlight them, and rightfully so. And what I think makes this different. Um, is that we're just highlighting them based on the people they are, not necessarily the talents they possess. And and sometimes it is some of those same kids. And sometimes it's a kid you, you might never have known. Um, and, and that's what I think really it, it makes this meaningful. And, and just seeing like the parents' reaction to hearing what a good person their children, like their child is. I, I mean, I think it's a very powerful thing. Um, and I agree with Maida that I do believe this is one of the best things that this school has to offer. Yeah, I, I, I've been witness to it, and it really is a, a, a special thing. And even through last year, what I thought was was great um, was that you guys were able to continue this virtually. And that was even really tough to um, sometimes for teachers and staff to catch kids in this hybrid environment where we're trying to keep distance from each other physically and um, you know, but but there were people that were were still doing amazing things in, in our school community, and, and you guys were able to continue to highlight that. 
And, um, you know, so I, I've, I've been witness to it. It's been such a, a, a special event. And I think both of you kind of touched on it, that it's, it's not about grades or academic achievement, or there's, there's so many other awards that, that our kids could get, but it's for those special, um, almost unnoticed things that you, you catch kids doing, doing the right thing, you know, and, and really, uh, Mike, I think that was a great point that the parents get to know what their kids are doing right, you know? And Chris, I also think, I mean, it's a, it's a great thing that our staff recognizes it too. I think our staff does a really nice job of finding those instances, those, those little, you know, gems in the day that, that meant a lot to them. And, and then to be able to share that with the kids, because again, the kids do it unknowingly most of the time. Um, and, and I think our staff, you know, as I said, we've been doing this now for over a decade and the amount of staff members that have contributed to this has continued to grow. And the more that that happens, I, I think there's a, a huge cultural shift happening and, and it really just highlights the positive of this building. And I yeah. think it's, a, I mean, one of the, 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 the gems of it is that it's about regarding genuine acts, right? Mm -hmm. It's not something that's contrived that I know I need to get a certain grade, so I'm going to try and study really hard to do that. It's about character, which is a study of everyday minute to minute behaviors that's accrued over time. And I think that just the idea of witnessing that is important, like you said, the idea of faculty recognizing that, and then as a sort of a uh, sort of a um, incentive, if, if when faculty and, and, and families participate and attend these events, as you said, you were witness to it. It was one of the four, those four ceremonies online last year were some of the four feel good moments, just to hear about what it looks like to be a good citizen. And I think whether it's it was Jack Lorenz or Dave Bailey or John May, Mike, myself, um, you, all of us, I mean, in the social studies department talk about good citizenship and this is what it looks like. And to see exemplars around us motivate, motivates us to be better in who we are and what we do. Yeah. And, and it's, a, it's, you know, it's, it's a testament to, you know, when you talk about character, right? It's a good, they talk about good character being what you do when no one's looking, um, or at least when you think no one's looking. Right. And, and like you both have pointed out, this is the, the staff noticing what kids are doing when they think people aren't looking. And, and that encourages them to continue to do those things. Right. Not just for the sake of getting have I received an award, but to know that while wow, people are really noticing. And it's it's so um, enriching to an individual to just be noticed, you know, and I think that's um, I, I think that's what is, it makes this award really special um and even for parents to know like wow my my kid was noticed and seen in this in this large community of, of 1800 students you know um so uh, you know thank you guys for for doing that i i want to ask one more question um that kind of connects to you know the why behind you guys doing things like this so what would you guys say um as individual is a personal inspiration or has been maybe a personal inspiration that, you know, kind of just drives you as, as an educator, um, as a coach, uh, moderator of, of different clubs and activities. Like what, what's something that has been an inspiration to you or inspires you um, to kind of keep, to keep going and doing what you're doing? For me, I'd probably say it's the students, to be honest. And like, that's what this, this award's doing is highlighting them. Um, look at everything in our lives, whether it be the pandemic, politics, whatever you want to say, and look at how much negativity surrounds us. And then every day we have the opportunity as educators to come in here and get away from all that. And and we have, you know, six hours a day where we get to watch kids be so happy on, on so many different levels. And uh, like, personally, I just feel like energy is contagious. And if you want to surround yourself with negative people, I, I got news for you, you're probably going to be pretty negative. If you surround yourself with positive people, you're going to have a better life and these kids do that like they're my inspiration they're they're my positive energy on a daily basis and, and yes there are exceptions and yes there are bad days or whatever but in my 19 years here you know day in and day out i'm smiling i'm laughing i'm having a good time and, and that has yes it has something to do with faculty we don't hang out nearly enough but it has everything to do with the kids um and so long as that's happening you know this is the most fulfilling career you could ask for and and this just highlights that. 
Yeah, I think Mike is absolutely right. And I think that I, I hope and think that most of us got into this field because of that. I mean, the, the, and the, the age group that we're dealing with in particular, they're discovering so much. I feel like this idea of hope is embodied in every moment in the school, right? You hope it's a new day, it's a new year, it's a new period, it's a new month. And this newness gives, if you believe in hope and you know the ability for things to get better, um, we always have a chance to try and improve where we're at, no matter where it might be, whether it's our mood or um, you know, failing at something and realizing that's actually growth um, and, and learning from that and being around people like Mike and, and you who believe in positivity, right? No matter what you feel, we realize everyone's going through trials and tribulations and being around people who have the courage to deal with them and move forward and struggle and come together. I think students embody that on a day-to-day -day basis. We're dealing with, they're dealing with so much. Um, and I think that they're not just students as academics, they're whole people who are exemplars of, of hope and of progress. And I think that that's very inspiring and being around colleagues who believe in that as well is very inspiring. And I, you know, Mike said it, there's no, I don't think there's a staleness to what we do. There is routines that keep us centered, which I think are important for life. But there's also so much that there's a lot of growth all the time around us that helps us um, redefine what paths we want to take and we weed out what we don't like. And we, um, I think there's just a lot of promise in what we do because of the, the, you know, the, the promise of and hope of students. That's awesome. I love it. And and you know, and it's not just positivity for the sake of being positive. You know, I mean, this it's it's remaining positive in light of the negativity because of the energy that it that it that it gives off because of what it the impact that it can have on on any given individual at any point, right? And you never know when it might have a, a major impact on on a kid that is just is having a bad day and you just say hey you look them in the eye and say hey what's going on how you doing today you know and and it might just put a smile on their face that that they wouldn't have otherwise had it could be just something as simple as that so listen i i want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to do this and and for the impact that you're having on our kids and, and our community as a whole because as these kids, like you were just pointing out, as these kids grow as, as individuals and they go from being, you know, boys and girls when they get here and, and young men and women as they leave, um, you know, they're going off into this world with, um, you know, having, having been impacted by tremendous educators like you. And um, and they make a difference, not just in the school community, the community at large, but, but the whole world. So, um, you know, I really appreciate you guys taking the time and, and sharing your thoughts here. So thank you so much. We're fortunate to have each other and uh, to have this place. So thanks, Chris, for doing this. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it. All right. Thank you. And uh, this has been another Maroon Minute. We'll see you next week.